I just realized that I was gonna film a favorites video with no nail polish on my hands. It's bad enough that I have no acrylic nails on, but having no nail polish and no acrylic nails is just a level that I could not stoop to. <laughs> so I'm waiting for my nails to dry for this impromptu video. Um, today's video is going to be a favorites video. I have so much stuff because I haven't done a favorites video in months. So I've just kind of been like stockpiling stuff that I wanted to mention when I do film a favorites video. And I feel like no time like the present because soon I'm going to be filming like my yearly favorites come January. So this is kind of like a last effort to just sneak one more favorites video in before favorites video in before I do my yearly favorites which is usually comprised of mainly makeup. So today we have a lot of like skincare stuff, we have some houseware stuff, we have some fashion-y bits. Um, I do wanna start out and I am going to be drinking in this video, but kids, if you are not of age, please do not consume alcoholic beverages. Um, this actually is going to be part of my favorites, which I wish I opened up this cap before my nails were wet. So, uh, this is gonna be interesting. So my first favorite is this Golden Road Brewing Company. If you don't know Golden Road, it is an LA-based brewing company. And, little fun fact, the brewery is actually down the street from Rachel. Like, not down the street, but like a five minute drive. I've been there many times and I take great pride that it is around the corner. So I go there quite often and they released a SoCal coconut wheat it is the best thing I've ever tasted. It says it's a wheat ale with coconut and lime. It's super refreshing. I know it's kind of pumpkin beer season, and don't worry, I have indulged in that, but this beer is so good. Like, I don't know why I didn't get this in the summer. I didn't see it until now, quite honestly, but it is delicious. So I'm going to be <laughs> sipping it throughout. I did want to mention it so you guys know what it is, and like, I just love the packaging on their products it's super super southern california themed all right so let's get some of the fashion pieces out of the way um i am going to be filming a candle haul after this so i do have one candle i'm going to show you guys but i'll get some of the fashiony things out of the way since there's only a few and then we'll go into housewares and then beauty and skincare i think there's mainly skincare here and it is a lot of stuff so i will kind of move through things fairly quickly and if you guys have any specific questions feel free to reach out in the comments and I will get back to you but let's jump into fashion <laughs> this is, does not really count as fashion by the way but I just love these slippers and they are getting quite filthy because I wear them all the time these are from Walmart like six dollars I think even under six dollars they're little pigs I think they're just the cutest. They're super comfy. And we have wood floors in my house now, and my my feet, A, get super cold, but B, I just feel like my feet get filthy just walking around on our floors. So I always like to have slippers on, and these are just super comfy and cozy. My roommate actually got slippers last week from Forever 21, and they're like cats or something. So now we both have animals. We're like totally dorking out on the slipper scene, but I love these, so I wanted to mention them. Next, you guys see me wear this all the time. This is a beret from Valfrey. Um, Valfrey's actually having a sale right now for Black Friday, 30% off. I'm not sure if you guys will see this video in time. However, if you if I do get it up in a timely manner, they are having like a 30% off sale. And this is probably like the most overworn beret in my collection. I wear it all the time. I love it so much. Something about the stars is so classic. And they actually have like a star bodysuit called the Estrella bodysuit that's also stars. I got it for Black Friday. It's like the only thing I picked up. They were out of the other thing that I wanted, but I love their little star themed print so much. So wanted to mention this again by the brand Valfrey. This is their beret. You can also tuck in the little flap so you don't have to wear it with the little, um, with the little flap in the front, you can just kind of wear it as like more Parisian style. And that is what it looks like. It looks better obviously with my hair all the way down, but I just want to show you, you don't have to have that flap out. 
So that's one of the fashion-y bits. The other two things I want to quickly mention is, you guys see, this is probably like the most overworn piece in my collection. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in other favorites video before, but I wear it so much. I thought it just wasn't fair not to put it in a favorites video if it hasn't made an appearance. This is from the brand Laser Kitten. The owner is super adorable. I love her so much. Um, and this was their collab with Forever 21, which has since left stores. I think you can find a couple of pieces that are left over online. But um, she does just sell like her own bodysuits now. So I love this piece so much. And again, it's a full bodysuit. It is like a mesh sheer material. So you do need to put some sort of like bandeau bra, kind of like the one I'm wearing in this one. This is not, this is also a bodysuit. This is not laser kitten. This is like misguided. But I am super into the bodysuits. It's like comic book theme thing going on. But I just love the colors so much. I wish he sold it like without Forever 21. Um, but since it was their collab, I'm, I don't think this particular design is available anymore. I'll have to research into that. But uh, this was one of my favorite pieces. So when she launched her own bodysuits that are not collab with Forever 21, I, ha I saw this print and I had to get it. It's just pink and it's got these like geometric um, designs on it, heart, stars, moon, and I love it so much. Again, it is a bodysuit. These are both size small, um, but she has a couple of other prints too and they're all super cute. So if you love this kind of cutesy theme, you definitely have to check out Laser Kitten and the owner is a doll. So those two, oh, and then the last piece that I wanted to show you guys is this jacket. I actually wore this coat today and I was going to wear it in the video and then I started getting overheated so I took it off. But um, this pink leopard coat has been making some waves on Instagram because I wear it a lot. And um, it's actually from the brand SohoGirl.com and they have a ton of different things that you can order online. I'm not sure if this is available but I got this for like 30 bucks in LA's fashion district at Soho Girl. So again, check out SohoGirl.com if you're not near Santee Alley in LA. If you are, they might still have the jacket. If not, check online, but I just love it so much. And it's so cute. It went with my little outfit today. I had this like pink misguided um, little bodysuit on with this, and I just love this jacket so much. It obviously is faux fur, and it's like kind of pink, silk lined. It's just super cozy and super cute. I feel like it can instantly dress up any outfit. So I wanted to mention it. Next up, I'm just going to mention a couple of houseware items. Um, one is this plant that you kind of see peeping out here. So the plant you can pretty much get from like any plant shop. I got mine at a store in Silver Lake. This is called a snake plant. It's a really hardy plant, and the reason why I got it is the guy who was telling me about plants said if it's going to be a bedroom plant, which this is, it's I keep it in my bedroom, he said to get something that actually releases oxygen at night versus carbon dioxide. I got this one because it does release oxygen at night, and you'll only need to water it every couple of weeks. It doesn't need a ton of sunlight. It does need some indirect sunlight, which my bedroom gets a lot of. Yeah, I just love this plant so much. I think it looks so cute. I love greenery in the house. And then I did get this little stand. There's a couple of them, and some of them get really pricey. This one I got for like $29.99 from World Market. So I'm not sure if it's still available on World Market because I did see that they were kind of like running out of them and it was an older item, but I just love it. It's got like this gold, so it kind of incorporates some gold into my bedroom. A really nice plant stand. It's pretty short and low to the ground. It's only like a foot and a half off the ground, but I figured I'd mention it because it is one of my favorite things that I picked up over the summer. Sneak plants are great. Next little home houseware, home decor I wanted to show you is I've been super into, um, I was gonna say Michael's, but no, it's Hobby Lobby. They don't have a ton of Hobby Lobbies on the East Coast. It was something I knew that was like in the Midwest. 
and they have a lot of them here in California as well. I think that they're starting to come to the East Coast, but you can definitely check online because I'm sure they ship. I got this pillow, it was like $19.99, and I just love stuff like this. I kind of keep my room nice and neutral and peaceful looking with like pops of color. That's kind of like the vibe I went for. I think I have one more item as far as like home decor or housewares. I have a whole candle haul coming for you guys hydration break but I did want to mention one of them because I've been burning my fall candles non-stop and it'd be just like a lie not to mention um, some of them I have like literally over 20 candles underneath here that I need to do a separate candle haul but this one I would say is my favorite ever it's a fall and winter scent you can kind of combine it into either season I love the new like um, flannel decor that they have on some of these candles. Last year it looked different and I really like the flannel. It makes it feel really cozy. And this one is the bourbon maple scented candle. How do I describe this? It kind of smells like waffles and bacon and like a fire going all at once. It's like what you would smell in the morning if you were in a wood cabin and you were coming down and breakfast was being cooked. That's what this smells like, like maple syrup and like a smoke. It's just like a really, it's a sweet scent, but it's not over, over, overly poweringly. Okay, Rachel, try English. Um, it's not overpoweringly sweet, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's my fave. I got it last year and I like wish I had 10 of these candles, but I just like mixing up the scent. So I know if I like overdid it with this, I'd get sick of it. So I just, I was good and I just bought one, but it's definitely one of my favorite candles for sure. Okay, now you guys, <laughs> there's just so much skincare and makeup. So I'm gonna do makeup first because I actually have less makeup. And again, I'm trying this thing where like I don't, overdo it with products because I think I'd like to start getting into doing like my top five foundations or like my favorite palettes and instead of just doing like hauls and favorite videos like delving a little bit deeper into my favorites within certain collections so with that being said I'm going to just share a couple most of these are skincare I'm going to share I have three perfumes and a couple makeup -y bits and the rest is skincare so I'm gonna do makeup first and just move through the makeup kind of quickly. The first thing I wanna mention is this Pinky Rose palette. If you guys are like a glitter crazed freak like myself, you will love this. I picked this up from Riley Rose and it basically looks like this. It just has a ton of like glitter pigments. They're all super pretty. This does dry out so you will wanna keep this like plastic film over it, but I mean, it's just like a glittery dream. And they're all like super pigmented. You can see like what I just picked up on my hand. Yeah, this is just like a really amazing palette if you love glitter. And they're all pressed pigment glitter, so you don't need like glitter glue or anything like that. But uh, I think this was fairly cheap. It was like $20 or something like that. And you have like pretty much every color that you need. The only thing that's weird that they don't have is black. Like a black glitter, the closest they have is this brown. But yeah, I think other than that, it's got like pretty much, I just got glitter all over my jeans. Good job, Rachel. I think it pretty much has everything you need as far as glitter is concerned. And then you don't need to deal with like glitter glue and it gets super messy and crazy. So these are glitter pigments, I love this. Also just picked this up recently from Ulta. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. They have a couple, I think four different palettes and this one is called the um, Ring the Alarm. And again, I keep all of my little things so that my shadows don't dry out. But I just love, love, love all the shades in this. You have a lot of warm tones that are great in the crease. And then you have a couple like bright pops of color a lot of, there's four metallics, like pressed pigment metallics, and then um, a bunch of matte shades. And you have like some darker tones to kind of get smoky. I love these purple shades, like all the colors. You can pretty much pair any of these colors and they would all work together. 
So this has definitely been one of my faves. I was thinking, and you guys can let me know in the comments what you think of doing one look, I mean, <laughs> one palette, three looks with this, where I can do like three different looks and show them to you like back to back to back. Like obviously it would just be the eyes um, and showing you like how to use the palette, but I love this and it's such a good warm tone palette, especially for fall. So, uh, just I'll, sh I'll just quickly tell you my favorite. This rush color is pretty much like always my transition color. Um, I am obsessed with Mugshot. Mugshot in the crease is just like heaven. And then I've used this Lolly is like the perfect, um, you know, like a, what do you call it, rose gold. And this is like the most beautiful copper, the most beautiful gold, like penny gold color. And the purples are just heavenly in the crease as well. So let me know if you guys want to see a uh, one palette, three looks. I can definitely use it. And this palette is super cheap. I think it was like $15. Such good quality. I've never had used Morphe or had a Morphe palette before. And I was super impressed when I swatched those in the store. So definitely check it out. Next, I have this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I've told you guys about this um, bronzer before. They have a milk chocolate Soleil, but I actually just got the regular chocolate Soleil. This has cocoa powder in it, so it actually smells like chocolate. It smells amazing, and I just love the packaging. It's really beautiful, like bronzy packaging. And I went through my little sample one, so I got the full size. I think this was like $30 or something, but I'm so happy I'm like stocked up on it. And it's just like such a pretty, such a pretty, um, color. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It goes perfect on the cheekbones. Next, I am going to be doing a full like um, video on my favorite foundations. I think that will be coming up soon, but I did want to mention this because I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. It's a 24-hour demi matte, I would say, and it's like full coverage, but not cakey full coverage like I love the Urban Decay All Nighter, but it's like very cakey looking on the skin. I just love this one so much. I actually went through a couple samples of it and I'm like, you know what? I love it so much that I'm going to pick up the full size. So I think this is a little pricey. It's like $39, but I got 20% off during the VIB sale. Next, I want to mention a couple of Lime Crime products. One is the Lime Crime Velveteen Lip Liners. I did a whole video on these. I love the formula of these. I'm wearing one of them here. I actually have a little highlighter on top of it, but this is the shade Cake. I talk about some of my favorite shades in that video, but I love, love, love these. They're super creamy and long lasting. And you can actually wear them all over the lips. Most of the time I just put them all over. You can use them as a lip liner, but you can also fill in the lips with them and they're amazing. Also, their Bushy Brow products, I am obsessed with. I have the Bushy Brow Stronghold Gel, and then I also have the Bushy Brow Precision Pen, which makes like the finest hair-like strokes. Um, if you watch my Lime Crime Birthday Collection video, you can see me using both of these products in the beginning, but I've pretty much only been using these for my brows. Like, I haven't used anything else. I love both of them so much. I have mine in the shade Blonde in both of them, but highly, highly recommend these products. They're my fave. Next, I want to talk about this Benefit Lolly Tint. Basically, a multi-purpose product. It kind of honestly looks like a nail polish, but you put this on the lips. I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. And again, I have product underneath, but you let it dry. I'll show you in like a minute or two. You let it dry and then your lips are stained like the most beautiful shade of pink. So this one is the shade, it says it's for lip and cheek. I've never tried it on the cheek. I would imagine you'd have to work with it pretty quickly. Um, that would make me nervous. But this is the Lolly Tint. They have a red one called the Benetint, I think. And then there's a peach one that's really pretty too. This one is definitely my favorite. I have all three. And I'm going to show you in a second, once it dries down all the way, your lips are stained like a really pretty pink shade for hours. And I use it all the time. I'm almost out of it. And I'm definitely going to be repurchasing. Fave, 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 especially if you like, like the natural lip look. 
this will just stain your lips like you have something on them and you won't have to apply anything all day it's really good next i just want to quickly mention three perfumes you guys know i'm kind of a perfume crazy psychopath i have tons of perfumes and perfumes kind of like my thing but uh, this one is by Tokyo Milk Dark. It is the Tainted Love. And I'll read you the notes. It's dark vanilla bean, orchid, white, white tea, and sandalwood. Really sexy and mysterious smelling. I love this one. Next is this one I picked up over the summer for my birthday by Victoria's Secret. This is the perfume Wicked. Also very sexy smelling. I don't have the notes or anything in front of me. You guys can look it up, but just take my word for it that it's really dark and sexy smelling. It doesn't smell like a normal super sweet perfume. It's not florally. So it has like a underlying super mysterious scent to it. And then I picked this up um, for the VIB sale as well. This is Guerlain. I wanted just the regular Guerlain Moan, I think it's called. Definitely check this one out. And then the last several I have are all skincare products. First one I want to mention is a makeup melting cleanser. Okay, my dog has literally a really bad coughing fit, so excuse me if you hear her coughing in the background, but she's dealing with some heart issues right now and like her enlarged heart basically pushes against the trachea and causes coughing fits so it's really sad please keep her in your prayers um so anyway i started telling you guys about the green clean by pharmacy it's a makeup makeup melting cleansing balm it's like the best one i've ever used i love the smell of this it kind of smells like lime and it just melts away the makeup, doesn't leave a greasy residue like some of the other cleansers I've used. I just love this product so much. I got this recently at the Sephora VIB sale as well. And this is the smaller size, so there's actually like a way bigger one. And I will definitely be getting the bigger one. This is like the $22 size. I think there's like a $39 one. But I am super impressed with this product. I love it. Next, I have a um, face mask from the brand Glossier, which is one of my favorite skincare brands. This is the Moisturizing Moon Mask. It's basically like a soothing face treatment. My skin has been getting super dry here in LA, and I, as someone who has like super greasy skin, I never thought I'd be saying that, but um, I definitely need something moisturizing every now and then. So I picked up the Moisturizing Moon Mask, and I love it. It's super, super hydrating. You just leave it on for like 10, 20 minutes and your skin just feels like very hydrated when you're done using it. So definitely check it out. I think this also retails for around $20. Next is another mask that I've been loving, loving, loving so much. I picked this up at Sephora. It's by the brand Ola Hendrickson. It is from their Balance line and this is the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This mask is like the most beautiful, like teal color. You can kind of see the color at the opening. It smells really minty and refreshing. It's got clay and snow lotus extract. And I think it's called cold plunge because it literally makes your skin feel icy. Not like super strange icy, just like a cooling sensation. And it's a pore minimizing mask. Leave it on 15 minutes. I usually leave it on way longer than that and then you rinse and I just love, love, love this face mask so much. It's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. I went through a couple trial sizes and then decided to pick up the full size. Last couple of products. Next one is um, also from Sephora. This is the brand Dr. Jart and this is the Sega Pear. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. It's their Tiger Grass color correcting treatment. It basically neutralizes redness and protects skin. It's got SPF 30 in it. I love this stuff so much. I tried this um, in a sample and it basically neutralizes like any redness. So it gives me kind of a neutral palette to work with before I apply my foundation. Also has SPF in it and it's kind of like a hydrating balm. So I moisturize I let my moisturizer sink in, then I put this on, and then I put my foundation on. This is the small baby size. I think this size is like 19, and the full size is like 40 something. 
So I got the little baby one, but I love this so much. If you have red skin and you kind of want to like neutralize the redness in your in your face before putting on your foundation, you will love this product and it's got a lot of good things in it as well. My poor little Godiva. Next is the first eye cream I've ever purchased. I've always had samples of eye creams that I've kind of just, you know, applied occasionally. But this is the first time I've dedicated myself to putting it on every night. And I got a sample of this also by the brand Ola Hendrickson. This is from their Truth line and it is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I don't have dark circles so I don't need a product that like an uh, under eye cream that targets darkness. However, any kind of brightening is always good. So this has vitamin C and collagen in it and again... So I just take the slightest little bit and just put it underneath the eyes and it's really been helping with just keeping um, my eye under eye area hydrated and um, plumping up the skin, taking away wrinkles, things like that. So a little pricey too, I think this was around 40 but definitely worth it if you're looking for a good eye cream. Um, last but not least, actually I have two more products. This is by the brand Tree Hut. It is their firming sugar scrub with caffeine. It is basically just a scrub for the shower. I've already dug into it as you can see. It literally smells like a mocha latte. I want to eat this. It smells like espresso beans. And that's because it is literally ground up coffee. This is really good. It's a sugar scrub and it's good for if you guys have um, any kind of cellulite or you're just trying to firm up the skin on your thigh and your butt. I don't have a ton of cellulite. I have a little on my upper thigh area, but um, this is just good for tightening up your booty, tightening up the thigh, um, you know, any kind of uh, firming action. This would be perfect for it. I just got this at Ulta. It was like $9.99 and there's always a 20% off coupon. But oh, there's so many different sugar scrubs. This one's the uh, one with caffeine, so it's firming and it just says mocha and coffee bean. And last but not least is from the brand Laneige, the lip sleeping mask. I wear it pretty much around the clock, um, but it is, I guess, for overnight, for deeply hydrating. It smells so good. It kind of smells like watermelon or like some kind of fruity something. I just love it. The smell is amazing. It gives like a light pink tinge to your lips. It's pretty inexpensive. I think next to the Bite Beauty lip masks. This one's like 19 or something and it's a pretty big bottle of it but highly recommend. I love 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 this lip mask so much. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you guys about. Hopefully it didn't run too, too long. I know it's long, but um, hopefully at least it, I kept it moving and it was interesting. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them for you. If not, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Since you guys heard Godiva coughing the entire time, she's going to be in my sign off. So tell everyone you're okay and you're just, and you're just getting older, and this is some of the things we have to deal with as we get older. Just keep her in your prayers because she's having some heart issues, but uh, say bye-bye, Diva. Say bye-bye. Love you. All right, guys, see you guys all in the next one. Bye.